Good afternoon. My name is Anthony Allel, and this is my business communication speech. This afternoon, I would like to discuss the chief nursing officer and their role in the healthcare setting. Many staff are not very much familiarized with the, ch the chief nursing officer in their hospital, and sometimes even the managers don't have a strong work relationship or much communication with their chief nursing officer. And this is not a very good thing because the chief nursing officer in the end is the leader. They are the leader for the nurses, for the managers, for the nurse aides, for student interns, for medical students, for med techs, and all other rel related hospital staff. And they report directly to the CEO, to the CFO, the chief financial officer. They also report to the other administrators of the hospital and are involved in implementing new ideas, policies, or changes that they feel would improve patient outcomes and employee outcomes in their hospital. Many people don't know too much about the chief nursing officer, and I think this is something that we can improve. One study which I researched, and again, this is a very niche area, so not significant research, but one study which I researched and read about in past literature discussed the chief nursing officer in Canadian hospitals. And in their study, they placed one chief nursing officer in a very passive setting, meaning at their desk, in an administrative role, kind of locked away in a tower, what have you, right? Not very present, not near the staff. Perhaps doing so kind of closes line to communication, to being able to hear problems of what's going on in the real life hospital unit. And then they did another study where they placed a chief nursing officer and in this role they had the chief nursing officer be very active, meaning they made sure that they were active on their units, getting making rounds to various units, interacting with the workers, making sure that the nurses knew the chief nursing officer by name. And ultimately what they found was that this improved patient care outcomes, this improved how the nurses felt about their chief nursing officer, the nurses knew who they were, and they felt more positive about their leaders and the people who were spearheading all functions at their hospital. So in conclusion, I will say that it's very important for leaders, not only in healthcare but in general, to think about the people that are working under them, because even a staff nurse it's probably the most important role in the hospital. They're providing patient care. Same for the people, the doctors, and everyone who is there with the patients. They rely on those leaders to make those important decisions, but for one goes hand in hand, the leaders also should be present to the staff who are giving their time and their effort and their knowledge to make sure that these patients are being well taken care of and kept healthy. So for this reason, it's very important to implement and consider finding ways to get the role of the chief nursing officer out there so staff know who their leader is, so they can feel comfortable if they want to communicate a concern or a possible implementation or just a simple idea. If they see something is not working on their unit, they can go to their manager, but if they feel that it's something that is affecting various units at the hospital, maybe they're a float nurse or a travel nurse, they should go to their chief nursing officer because ultimately the chief nursing officer is the person who will report to the CEO and they hold a lot of cards when it comes to making major changes at the hospital. So for this reason, I believe that this is a strong area to further research and further study. Thank you.